dear students in the last class we have introduced non spherical disturbances two causes of non spherical disturbances are autocorrelation and heteroscedasticity we have also seen that in the presence of non spherical disturbances euler's estimators are not blue what is blue is gls generalized least squares and gls is nothing but euler's applied to the transformed model the model is transformed in such a way that the disturbance in the transformed model satisfy all the classical assumptions now today and in the next classes we will discuss heteroscedasticity and autocorrelation in detail we start with what is known as heteroscedasticity heteroscedasticity one of the important assumptions of the classical linear regression model is that the variance of ui given xi is a constant symbolically expected ui square is a constant sigma square i is equal to 1 2 etc n that is the disturbance ui conditional on given values of xi is a constant number that is sigma square and this is the assumption of homoscedasticity homo means equal scedasticity means variance homo means equal scedasticity means variance this is given by the equation expected ui square is equal to sigma square suppose that we consider a model like this y a is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus u a where y a is savings savings and xi is income xi is income now this assumption means that conditional on each xi the variance of ui is a constant number sigma square that is for x is equal to x1 x2 etc xn variance of ui symbolically expected ui square is sigma square let us see this in the form of a graph this is a three dimensional graph a three dimensional graph f of u here f of u then we have a y x x is income y is savings you know usually if you have a graph like this y and x the saving income relation will be something like this beta 1 plus beta 2 x i so the curve begin from the y axis the distance between x and the curve increases as we consider the three dimensional graph it is something like this y i is equal to beta 1 plus beta 
x plus u n the p of now corresponding to x is equal to x1 x2 x3 etc we have a series of i values this is the pr of y a is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x i plus u i now corresponding to x is equal to x 1 we have many y values that is many saving functions and the distribution of y or the distribution of u corresponding to x is equal to x1, x is equal to x2, x is equal to x3, the distribution. If the distribution of u, remember this, u is nothing but y minus suspected y and if y is given by this equation expected y is beta 1 plus beta 2 x expected u is 0 but the variance of y is same as variance of u because u is obtained by subtracting mean when we subtract the mean from y only uh, what to say the origin changes the scale is same so this is the distribution of u with the zero mean and variance equal to sigma square. This is the assumption of Homo's catastasis. Now suppose that as income and this relation shows that as income increases, saving also increases and the variability of saving remaining the same. Now suppose that as income increases, saving on an average increases variability of saving also increases. In that case, we have a situation like this. Situation like this. Savings on an average increases variability of savings also increases that is savings on an average increases and variability of savings also increases like this like this variability of savings also increases and this is the case of heteroscedasticity and symbolically heteroscedasticity is written as expected ui square is equal to sigma square i i is equal to 1 to n if a expected ui square is a constant corresponding to different levels of x we will not use the subscript i because subscript is not required because it is a constant number. But if uh, the variance of ui changes with the each x, x1, x2, etc, xn, then sigma square 1, sigma square 2, sigma square 3, etc. And what happens? The variance changes. That is why the subscript sigma square i. And this is a three dimensional graph. 1 for y, 1 for x, and 1 for u. If uh, you, you consider a table with uh, two dimensions, and uh, you consider a projection also, that is a third dimension. And uh, these spikes are on this third dimension. This is the case in which error variance increases. It is also possible that error variance decreases as, as x increases. Error variance decreases as x increases. Both are possibilities. In, in a two-dimensional graph, 
let me say what is homoscedasticity and what is heteroscedasticity. So suppose that y x this is the PRF and if the observations are like this homoscedasticity if uh, this is the PRF and uh, uh, the observations like this case of heteroscedasticity error variance increases. Now consider this case this case and error variance decreases. All these are possibilities. As x increases, if the error variance remain constant, homoscedasticity, error variance increases or error variance decreases. Both are cases of heteroscedasticity. And remember also this. If uh, there is homoscedasticity, it also means that expected ui square is not a function of xi because as the value of x increases or decreases error variance remain constant so expected ui square is not a function of xi on the other hand in this case expected ui square is a function of xi and this is important the reason is when we study how to detect heteroscedasticity, we, can, we assume that error variance is some function of Xi. Error variance is some function of Xi. So remember this in mind. Also, we know that in matrix notation, heteroscedasticity is specified as expected u u transpose is equal to sigma square 1 0 0 0 sigma square 2 and 0 0 sigma square n. Remember this if there is homoscedasticity there will be no subscript sigma square, sigma square, sigma square. Off diagonal elements are zero because we assume that there is no autocorrelation. Only homoscedasticity assumption is violated. But when there is heteroscedasticity, sigma square 1, sigma square 2, etc., sigma square n, error variances are different. And this is how we represent heteroscedasticity and this is the variance covariance matrix of u something which we have studied earlier the diagonal elements are the variances of u u1 u2 etc un off diagonal elements are the covariances between u1 u2 u1 u3 un un minus 1 etc etc so this is heteroscedasticity homoscedasticity heteroscedasticity. Homoscedasticity not a function of x, heteroscedasticity a function of x.